Hi everybody, Olivia here from Let's Go Studio and it's time for Canva Tip Weekly, the short five-ish minute series where I'm gonna show you how to do quick, actionable things in Canva that are either hidden gems, things to help your brand, or to make your life a lot easier. Today, we're gonna be talking about colors in Canva. I've got three quick color tips for you here. The first tip that I have that is super helpful for everybody who doesn't quite have a grip on their color palette is what color should my color palette be compromised of? This is the secret to a strong brand and a flexible brand. You need a light color, a dark color, and one to three accent colors more if you're comfortable. Let's take a peek at something here. When we come over and look at just general Canva templates and general design, you're gonna notice a trend, obviously color, but notice how not everything is always a clean white background or a dark black background. This, for example, has a nice light pink background. What a great color. And then their dark color here, they're using an accent color in their background. Also notice things like this one. This is also not a plain white background. It has a little bit more character and edge to it because this is actually more of like a subtle dusty gray. It's gonna add more personality when you have a color that's not just white to add to your brand. Same thing here, except now we're using a dark color. It's not black, it's like a nice navy-ish charcoal -y. Yeah, it's like a navy, it's a, it's a, good, it's a good color. So when working on your brand palette, try to think about what a lighter color on the spectrum would be and a darker color and use those in place of light and dark in templates. Then you've got some accent colors here. My accent colors are super bright because that's what I'm all about is education and energy and passion and fun. But accent colors are obviously what you can use as accents. They don't always have to be so full bleed as these items. So try to use your color palette within this formula and see what happens. Second tip is don't forget the styles panel like I do all the time. The styles panel is right over here and it allows you to apply your color palette to an entire document. So let's take a peek at that really quickly. So let's come over here to templates and find us a fancy template. Valentine's Day. Oh boy, if I had to pick between my husband and Canva, that would be a tough one. So watch what happens here. This is a very colorful template. You've got, let me move me, you've got all these kind of crazy things. When I click on my color palette, it changes the whole thing. Boom, no more Valentine's Day. Now it's Olivia Times Day. 100% check that out. You can click, keep clicking to shuffle. And there's a little hidden button down here that says apply to all pages. This will apply it to everything. Ah, I love this one. This one's very anti Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day, don't get me wrong. So don't sleep on this styles panel. Let's do that together one more time. Let's find a cool presentation template, uh, presentation. Let's do this whole Valentine's Day one because why not? We're already here, right? So I've got this entire presentation. I'm gonna come over here to styles. Then I'm gonna click my studio palette until I like, yeah, this is a nice yellow background. I'm gonna click apply to all pages. And just like that, now this whole document is in my brand colors. My dark color happens to be black. So that's why it changed all of these to black. But now this is in my brand color palette and not the one that it came in. Of course, you do that by going over to your brand kit. That's right here. And you can name this whatever. So I can call this, yeah, let's go if I wanted to. And that's what would show up. Awesome. So the last tip I hope is going to blow your mind. Let's delete this anti-Valentine's Day tip is that stock photography is really helpful when it comes to adding things to a brand, some imagery to a post, but it's sometimes really hard to find stock that is in your brand color palette or in your brand vibe. Not anymore. I'm going to grab this hex code right here of this orange. I'm going to say, hey, I want this color. You're going to come over here to, let's move me, you're going to come over here to photos. And then up here in the little adjustment settings, you're going to click add a new color, add in your hex color, click apply, 
it's only going to give you colors that are somewhat in that color palette. What? Oh my gosh. Go a little bit further. Let's add the word desk here. And now I'm only going to get cute orange desk pictures. This is great. I'm a designer, obviously, which means that I love to add a desk. And oh my gosh, I actually have a brand pink too. I've just discovered how cute this is. I don't really love the look of that cactus. There we go. Look how cute that is. It's in my brand colors. So now what I can do is click on this, star it, even add it to a folder of all kind of junk that I have here. It'd be let's go brand and approved stock photos right here. And voila, you can start to build a stock library in your color palette. Yes, Canva has great stock. Really get in there and utilize it. Lots of great stuff in here. All right, so that's the three tips for today. Start building a stock library in your color palette using that hex code tip. Don't forget the styles panel, redo those things way faster. Don't take forever to click through and try to build your brand color formula to be a bit more flexible for your posts. All right, I'll see you next time. And this was Canva Tip Weekly.